What is a unicellular organism? Uni means one. Living beings consisting of one cell are referred to as unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms, however, function entirely with one cell. They are capable of performing life functions. All these activities take place within a cell. Movement, respiration, growth, reproduction, excretion. Examples of single-celled organisms include bacteria, certain types of protists, such as amoebas and paramecia, and some varieties of yeast. Despite being smaller and less complex than organisms, unicellular organisms can carry out all the functions for their survival, metabolism, growth, reproduction, and response to their environment. In contrast, multi means many. Multicellular organisms are composed of two or more cells. They collaborate to form tissues, organs, and organ systems. Amoeba. Amoeba is a single-celled organism which falls under the category of celled creatures that belong to the phylum protozoa. These protists have a captivating biology. This is how amoeba looks under a microscope. Amoebas are known for their structure that can change shapes and their ability to use pseudopods, extensions of their cell membranes, for movement and capturing food. Now, let us see the parts of amoeba and learn its functions. The nucleus in an amoeba serves as the cell's control center, housing genetic material and regulating cellular activities. The nucleolus within the nucleus is involved in ribosome production, essential for protein synthesis in the cell. The food vacuole in amoeba functions as a storage and digestion compartment for ingested food particles. It functions to enclose, digest and transport nutrients within the amoeba's cell. The contractile vacuole in amoebas serves as a specialized cellular structure responsible for regulating water content within the cell. Amoebas, being single-celled organisms, constantly interact with their environment, and the contractile vacuole plays a crucial role in maintaining the cell's internal balance. Pseudopods are temporary extensions of the amoeba's cell membrane used for both movement and capturing food. They allow the amoeba to change shape, crawl, and engulf prey through a process called phagocytosis. The cytoplasm houses organelles and cellular structures, providing a medium for chemical reactions and supporting various cellular activities. It plays a crucial role in nutrient transport, waste removal, and the movement of organelles within the cell. The cell membrane in an amoeba acts as a flexible boundary, regulating the passage of substances in and out of the cell. It maintains cell boundary and controls interactions with the environment. Here are some key facts and characteristics about amoebas. Physical structure. Amoebas lack a fixed shape. Instead, they possess a blob appearance. They consist of a cell that contains a nucleus and other components called organelles. Movement. Amoebas move by extending and retracting pseudopods, which are projections from their cell membrane. These pseudopods aid them in crawling and capturing food particles like bacteria and other tiny organisms. Food. Most amoebas are phagocytic, meaning they engulf and process their food by enveloping it with their cell membrane. This process is known as phagocytosis. Habitats. Amoebas inhabit water environments such as freshwater ponds, streams, and marine habitats. They can also be found in soil and certain terrestrial surroundings. Reproduction. Amoebas have the ability to reproduce without a mate through fission, a process where a single cell divides into two daughter cells, some species of amoeba can also engage in reproduction involving the exchange of material. Diversity. There exists an array of amoeba types, each exhibiting behaviors and adaptations. While some lead lives, while others function as parasites, that can cause illness in humans and other animals. Significance. Amoebas play a role in ecosystems by aiding in the decomposition of waste materials. This contributes to nutrient cycling within these ecosystems. Some species are also utilized as subjects in research. Euglena. So what is Euglena? Euglena is also a unicellular organism, also known as a celled protist, thrives in freshwater environments. Euglena possesses characteristics that resemble both plant and animal traits. This is how an Euglena looks under a microscope. Here are some noteworthy facts and features about Euglena. Physical structure. Euglenus have an elongated body shape with an outer covering called the pellicle. They usually appear green due to the presence of chloroplasts, which contain chlorophyll and enable photosynthesis. They have a red eye spot, 
which helps them to sense light. Euglenus possess one or more whip flagella that aid in movement. These flagella allow them to swim through water and change directions as needed. The chlorophyll in Euglenus help to produce their food through photosynthesis. When sunlight is scarce, Euglenus can derive energy from particles in their surroundings, which allows them to exhibit behaviors similar to animals. Euglena, a single-celled microorganism, has distinct structures with specific functions. Flagellum. Function. The whip-like tail called a flagellum propels Euglena through water, enabling it to swim and move towards light for photosynthesis. Stigma, eye spot. Function. The stigma detects light direction, helping Euglena move towards light for optimal photosynthesis. Contractile vacuole. Function. The contractile vacuole regulates water intake and expulsion, preventing the cell from swelling or dehydrating in changing environments. Pellicle. Function. The pellicle is a flexible outer covering that maintains the euglena's shape, allowing it to change its cell shape during movement. Nucleus. Function. The nucleus is the control center containing genetic material, DNA, that regulates cellular activities and reproduction. Chloroplasts. Function. Chloroplasts enable euglena to perform photosynthesis, converting light energy into chemical energy for nourishment. These structures collectively support euglena's survival by providing mobility, energy production through photosynthesis, and mechanisms to maintain cellular balance in varying environments. Habitat. Euglenas typically inhabit bodies of water, such as lakes, ponds, and moving streams. They tend to position themselves near the water's surface to maximize exposure to sunlight for photosynthesis. Reproduction. Euglenas reproduce asexually through a process known as fission, where a single cell divides into two daughter cells. In circumstances, some species may also engage in reproduction. Food vacuole. Euglenas engulf food particles into their single cell. Euglena cells can do this too when light levels are low. Contractile vacuole, euglenas, possess an organelle called a contractile vacuole, which helps regulate the cell's water content and maintain balance. Environmental indicators, euglenas serve as bioindicators since their presence or absence in freshwater ecosystems provides insights into water quality and environmental conditions. Factors such as pollution levels and nutrient availability can influence their population abundance. The euglena is a microorganism of adapting to diverse environments through various mechanisms. Having the ability to switch between heterotrophic feeding gives them flexibility and resilience in aquatic environments. Binary fission. When celled organisms such as bacteria and certain protists reproduce without a mate, it is referred to as fission. During this process, one cell divides into two daughter cells each containing a set of genetic material. During the process of binary fission duplication of genetic material takes place. Prior to initiating fission, the celled organism undergoes a process in which its genetic material is replicated. In prokaryotes like bacteria, this typically involves a chromosome to ensure that all genetic information is transmitted to each daughter cell. Cell elongation, the cell elongates, bringing the copied material closer to the center of the cell. Formation of a septum. In organisms such as animals, a partition or septum may form in the middle of the cell, dividing both the material and other components into distinct areas. However, in some cases, this step may not be necessary. The process proceeds without forming a septum. Cell division. During cell division, if present, the cell wall and membrane begin to pinch or split along the line where the septum formed. This process continues until the cell is nearly divided in half, resulting in two daughter cells. Binary fission completion. The process concludes once two separate daughter cells are formed, each capable of functioning and growing into a developed organism under suitable conditions. Under circumstances, binary fission serves as an efficient method for single-celled animals to reproduce. Mitosis. Mitosis is a form of cell division that occurs in eukaryotic cells, which are cells with a true nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Mitosis results in the formation of two identical daughter cells, each with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Mitosis involves several stages, including prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Let's look at the process in detail now.
Flagella. What is a flagellum? A flagellum, also known as flagella, is a tail-shaped structure that protrudes from the surface of cells. These cells utilize flagella to facilitate movement and propel themselves. Flagella can be found in organisms such as bacteria, archaea, protists, and certain animal and plant cells. Here are some key points to understand about flagella. Flagella are elongated and slender structures composed of microtubules in cells or flagellin in cells. These elements are held in place by the cell membrane or cell wall. How flagellas move? Flagella exhibit whip motions to navigate the cell through its surroundings. The nature of this movement can differ based on the species and construction of their flagella. It may involve wave-like patterns. This is how a flagella looks under a microscope. There are different types of flagella. Various species possess types of flagella with varying structures and functions. Here are a few examples. Bacterial flagella, spiral-shaped structures present in bacteria that resemble propellers, enabling bacteria to swim through liquids. Eukaryotic flagella. Found in cells, these flagella facilitate locomotion. They are longer than counterparts, exhibit a whip-like motion. Cilia, these structures resemble flagella, are shorter and more abundant on the cell surface. They work collectively to generate waves that facilitate the movement of the cell itself or objects present on its surface. Uses of flagella. Primarily, they aid in locomotion, enabling the cell to swim or navigate towards nourishment while avoiding elements. Additionally, in cases, flagella can serve as organs, detecting changes in their surroundings. Different flagella move in different ways. Eukaryotic flagella move by bending or swaying, whereas prokaryotic flagella exhibit propeller motion. They are particularly significant for processes such as fertilization, bacterial movement, and locomotion of celled organisms in aquatic environments. Differences between amoeba and euglena. Euglena and amoeba are both single-celled bacteria, but they are not the same in some important ways. Shape and movement. Amoebas have a wavy, blob-like shape and move by changing their shape all the time and stretching pseudopods, which are short projections of their cells, to crawl and catch food. Whereas euglenus are usually long and they move through the water by whirling their flagellums, which look like whips. Talking about nutrition, amoebas get their food by consuming and breaking down other small creatures or particles. They move towards their food and capture them through a process called engulfing. Euglena is a mixotrophic animal, which means it can eat both autotrophs and heterotrophs. When they are in light, they can use chloroplasts to make food like plants do, and they can also eat organic matter. A recap of how amoeba engulfs food is shown here. As for cell walls, amoebas don't have them because their cell membranes are flexible instead of stiff. Euglenas have a thin, flexible pellicle, a protein layer, under their cell wall that keeps them in shape and gives them support. Amoebas are incapable of performing photosynthesis due to the absence of chloroplasts. Euglenas have chloroplasts, which allow them to do photosynthesis in presence of light. These are some of the main ways that amoeba and euglena are different. Now let's look at the similarities between amoeba and euglena. Both are single-celled organisms. Both reproduce through binary fission. Both can perform life functions on its own. Movement, growth, respiration, reproduction. Both eat algae and other smaller microorganisms for food. Both live in aquatic environment. We hope you liked today's lesson. If you liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.